in our population, we actually do have a fair amount of patients who, you know, have, uh, you know, uh, autoimmune diseases that are oftentimes contraindicated for immunotherapies. Um, I think, you know, it's always a shared decision making sort of process. Um, I give them sort of the information and I give them my concerns. If I have concerns about, you know, whether or not a patient's going to tolerate treatment, um, I make those concerns noted. Um, and I certainly have patients who say, okay, I'm not, I don't, I don't think the benefits outdo the risks of the treatment, but I've had others that say, Hey, I want to try this and I'm okay with the risks. And I've had patients who have had terrible <laughs> reactions doing, you know, making that decision. I've had others that haven't. Um, I think at the end of the day, you know, that's where we make a shared decision-making I'm, you know, and if I'm truly uncomfortable giving immunotherapy, I won't give it. Um, but I think the patient needs to be involved in that decision.